Artificial intelligence has been pretty smart already for the past two decades, and it's getting smarter fast. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Well done. Not long ago, 1997, we were wowed by Kismet, an MIT robot that could turn sound and visual cues into things like facial expressions, vocal responses, and basic movements. And in this corner, at 1.4 tons, 6 feet 5 inches, IBM supercomputer. That same year, IBM built Deep Blue, beat out world chess champion Garry Kasparov. Deep Blue could evaluate 200 million positions a second and think strategically. The match was called the brain's last stand. There's also the Roomba. <laughs> a household robot that started sweeping floors by itself in 2002. Not quite as smart as Deep Blue, but it gets the job done. Then there was Shanghai's 2010 World Expo, where 20 robots danced together for eight minutes. What is executor? And who could ever forget Watson? Deep Blue was impressive, yes, but that was chess, one set of rules. Watson went on jeopardy, faced riddles, complex questions. Watson won in 2011. Alexa, Wikipedia wolf spider. Today, there's Amazon's Alexa. If you haven't met her, you will. You can also call a friend in Japan, speak English, and your words will be translated in real time. And driverless cars, of course, are here. It's all the result of artificial intelligence. So what is next? A few promising projects right now and a few accompanying concerns. There's content creation, AI is headed toward creating personalized media just for you, like songs mixed with you in mind, just you. I am even the composer of the music you're hearing. Here's a question though, could this be used to create fake targeted messages for you? Human voice. Ah, Google's working on a system that translates text into audio of a person speaking. It can handle hard to pronounce words, enunciating like a native. She earned a doctorate in sociology at Columbia University. She earned a doctorate in sociology at Columbia University. Question, might this eventually be used to put words into somebody's mouth who never said them? Fake video, researchers at the University of Washington have created a program that takes audio files, converts them into realistic mouth movements, and then graphs those movements onto existing video. This is fake news prefabbed. Here's the ground truth video of Obama saying the same words. Especially our friends who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, or transgender. And then there's more video. The idea is you can provide an artificial intelligence system with a typed out phrase on a computer, and then it uses that phrase to generate, yes, just create a video from scratch. So, can we see a video that's entirely computer generated, no human needed? In the right hands, of course, and with the right intentions, this AI could do enormous good, bringing worlds and ideas to life. In the wrong hands, you can't trust your own eyes and ears. What's real, what's not, only the AI will know.